Okay, we're now going to go download the files. Uh, the easiest way to get to those is to go right to the resources downloads and then scroll down until you get to the charger, grid charger stuff and you'll see there's a config zip and a config versus 2.5 zip and a data logger zip and a data logger version 2.5. The ones we're going to want is the config uh, and the data logger 2.5. So you double click it. It's going to ask you if you want to save it and you save the file to your hard drive. I already did that so we don't have to do that. Okay. Once you get it into your computer it's going to basically be two zip files. When you uh, click the zip files it'll ask you to install it so we'll start with the data logger dot zip and you can see that it's got several different things so you hit the setup exe but before you can do that you need to extract it very important some programs extract it automatically and others don't so in this case we're going to extract it And when you're done, let me just cancel that because I've already done this. When you're done, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. And then what we're going to do is you're going to click on the installer and you're going to click on the setup. So we'll start with the uh, runtime program of the uh, uh, data logger. So we're going to use setup. I've got two monitors, so we may or may not see what's going on. Here it is, okay. So now what it's doing is it's getting ready to install it. Now it's really installing a, 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 a runtime library for LabVIEW, which has got all the stuff it needs to actually run. Uh, and once you install this once, that runtime is in the machine already. So it's a very good chance all you need to do from this point on is just bring your, uh, your files in. But at this point, so we're going to select the folder. It's going to select the C drive program files data logger version 2.1. So let's let it put it there. And it asks you to confirm it. And now it's basically loading it up. Now it's important that these programs are in the same directory uh, because it, the config file writes a file and puts it in its base directory and the data logger reads that file in order to know where the COM port is and where to put the database files. So both have to be in the same directory. It doesn't matter which directory it is, but since data logger is what this is rather than config, the config is a part of the data logger, I, I figure we're better off putting it in the data logger file first and then we put it into the uh, put the config file into there. So this will be done in a few seconds here. Now most of the time that we're spending installing this is to reinst it's reinstalling the runtime, uh, which really only needs to be there once. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we can uh, make this much simpler in the future where we're just bringing the exe file, but I can't confirm that yet. Okay, it's almost ready. Registering the product, fixing the, removing the backup files, and it is now installed. And we can finish. Now we're going to go back up, back up, and we're going to do the config 2.5, same thing, set up exe. So it says we've got to restart the computer. We'll reset, we'll, we'll do it later. Now this is where we're now ready to install the config file and we're going to browse and this thing keeps putting it on the other directory. Go up one directory and we should be able to see the data logger version 2.5.
open that directory and then say OK. That should now be shown over here. Then we say next and confirm it by hitting next again. And now it's basically installing the config file in the same directory. And we'll stop this thing while it's doing that because it's the same thing we just saw a minute ago.